Okay, let's move on to the sixth one. The sixth one is saying that construct a 95% confidence interval. Construct a 95% confidence interval. So before that, so we have to construct 95% confidence of this three. That's mean all our parameters and there is a 95% confidence. So we have to find out the confidence interval. So you're seeing that we have 95% confidence interval and our number of observation is uh, 840. I'm sorry, uh, your, the number of observation that's when n is 840 to write it here. So we have n equal to 840. All right, so we have uh, four parameters because constancy is also included as a parameter because beta 1 plus beta 2 into x plus beta 3 into x. All right, so so this constant is also one parameter. So we have four, one, two, three, four. Okay, four parameters here. So our k value is four. So therefore our degrees of freedom is n minus k, which is 840 minus four, which is uh, 836. Okay, another thing, so we have 95% confidence interval. That's mean one minus alpha. Alpha is our significance level is 95%. Therefore, alpha is equal. Uh, alpha is equal one minus 0 0.95. I convert a 95% into 0 0.095. So the alpha is equal 0 0.05. Hope you understand. Okay. So our uh, con uh, significance level is 0 0.05. Okay. So let's make, okay, 0 0.05. So we have to find out the T value for this degrees of freedom and this confidence uh, significance level. So we need the T table. Alright, so, so this is the t table. Uh, this is the t value table. So our degrees of freedom is 836. So we have the maximum value is 120. So we have to count the infinite one because degrees of freedom is 836. And our um, alpha value is point zero five point zero five. As we are testing a total taste, as we are testing a total taste, so alpha will be divided by two, so which is zero point zero two five, I guess. 0 0.05 divided by 2. Yeah. So 0 0.025. 0 0.025. Okay. So our alpha 1 by 2 is 0 0.025. And our degrees of freedom is 803. 36. So our degrees of freedom would exist here. And then find it 1. And our uh, significance level would be alpha by 3 is this one. 0 0.025. Okay. So the value of is 1.96. So our t value, alpha by two, alpha by two is one point nine six. Okay, I've calculated it. Okay, let's construct uh, the confidence interval for all three parameters. Okay, so first one, ninety five percent. I'm just making a short confidence interval interval of travel time right so you are seeing uh, it ahead of 
travel time plus minus d alpha by 2 uh, with uh, a standard error of travel time okay so this is the law so instruct insert the values from the question one three five seven three eight three nine thirteen seven three nine seven seven plus minus we have already known that the value is one point nine six and two the travel time uh, standard error of travel time is zero point zero zero thirty two and eight so we have to calculate the class interval so put the number here point one three seven three nine seven seven okay calculate the minus first because minus always gives you the lowest uh, number I mean lowest I mean lower interval level lower level and plus will always give you the upper level so calculate the minus first all right the lower value is 1.312 okay let's find out the upper value is 0 0.144 okay so this is the class interval for time travel so build 95 percent uh, conf inter confidence interval for I'm, I'm making it short uh, the second is income same bit of income plus minus d alpha by 2 into AC of income same put the value from the question paper 1 8 eight six three zero two plus minus alpha is one point nine six into zero point zero four six four 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 three okay calculate it point one eight eight six three zero four zero two minus one point nine six two point zero four six four 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 three. So lowest la uh, lower level is lo lower level is and the upper level is zero point two seven nine seven. Okay. Uh, this is the same process for the rest one. So just I am just writing here. I'm not calculating confidence interval for the third one was what terminal cost terminal terminal time. Okay, same beta term plus minus alpha by 2 and AC of term okay so just input the value and calculate it that's it uh, that's it no other thing. And same thing you will find out the previous one so there is your uh, terminal time beta and there's a standard error just put it and calculate it you'll get the interval here so this is the way uh, do it by your own